Okay, uh, so for the hasty harness, uh, what we are going to do, so this is just, this might be three quarter inch with webbing, one inch webbing, um, but this is a 12 foot long piece of webbing and that we're just gonna tie both ends together, like the water knot, which we have right here. So this is going to be for the front harness. And then the same thing, um, I would generally recommend um, the webbing to be anywhere from 12 feet to about 15 feet. Um, probably the 15 feet is gonna be preferable. It's gonna allow you more flexibility and more um, choices if you need to adjust and have different lengths when you're tying in the overhand knots to connect the dog into the butterfly loops on the main lines. Um, that being said, uh, so this is going to be for the back end. And so the first thing that we're going to do, um, the dog is going to be connected to me uh, by a leash. Um, so I'm gonna connect the dog to me so make sure they can't get away. And I'm gonna put a muzzle on the dog to kind of protect myself in case the dog is upset. I don't want the dog to turn around, especially if he's stressed out, if there's a spot there's hurt. I don't want him to turn around and bite me. Um, but, so when we do this, uh, the water knot, one of the more important things to remember um, is that the water knot, I would say, needs to go behind the shoulder. Uh, we don't want it anywhere underneath on the soft spot of the dog's chest, uh, just because the pressure is gonna push onto it, it's gonna be uncomfortable, and we want the dog as comfortable and calm as possible. So water knot's gonna stay ideally um, level with the shoulder. Um, so the first thing, I'm going to put my thumb underneath so I have one loop. And then I'm going to take my hand and uh, with the webbing, I'm going to lay my hand flat and I'm going to push my hand underneath the dog. And the reason why we're doing this is because a lot of times if the dog's too heavy, I don't want to try to lift the dog up. I'm going to try to dig my hand into the ground move the ground, um, that way I can push the webbing um, out from underneath the dog. And again, I'm not trying to move the dog. If the dog's injured, I don't want to move it. I'd rather just move the ground. But once I do that, I am going to uh, gently kind of adjust the webbing because I'm trying to make two even loops. I am happy with that. Um, so I have my two loops. I don't know if you can see this. Mm -hmm. but I'm going to keep those secured. And then again, making sure that the knot is right, um, right at the shoulder level. I'm going to grab this piece of webbing. I'm going to pull it towards me. And then I'm going to make one twist. And this twist, I'm going to give myself enough slack, but I'm going to slip this over the dog's head. And so what it should look like right now is I should have three loops. So I'm going to have these two right on the shoulders, and I'm going to have the last third uh, loop uh, that was crossed over the dog. And then it's going to look like this. So there's going to be a big X. You're going to want it right on the chest. You're going to take this third loop. And you're going to slip it between these two. And then once you do that, you can kind of just pull on the webbing and really start slowly to cinching it down. Um, this is going to be probably the most difficult, but it's also the most important part. Um, you, the, there's the most chance of creating a lot of slack um, at this part, and so you want to create it as tight as possible. If it feels too tight to you at the moment, it's going to loosen up later on. Um, so just really just crank that down. 
Um, once you're happy with that, then we're going to do an overhand knot. So I'm going to make a loop, and I'm using my thumb to press the webbing down underneath. And then I'm going to go through that loop that I created. Again, um, water knot, it's about level with the shoulder. We're going to have the, the cross right here on the chest of the dog. And then we're going to have an overhand knot um, going over all of the loops. And that's just to secure this in place so it's not going to tighten down on the dog. And once we have that, we have one overhand So these would be the two different spots where we could connect the dog to the Caribbean in a butterfly loop. And that is the chest part of the hasty harness.